Several years ago, the university began a distribution program of giving the students Apple laptops and Apple handheld devices, referring to the iPod Touch and the iPhone, and now they're also receiving iPads. Well, Dr. Jennifer Bryant and I were looking for a way to incorporate a clinical perspective into their integrated basic health sciences laboratory. So we put these two things together and we have them do what we call I solve case studies. At the beginning of the lab, they receive a piece of paper that describes a patient, a patient's symptoms, their medical history, some lab test results. And their first task is to solve for the diagnosis for the patient. And this is where they use the iOS devices. So they can look on instructor approved websites. They can use instructor approved apps to kind of help them figure out what is the diagnosis. And once they've gotten the correct diagnosis, we check it. Then they move on to solving the rest of the case study and filling in information about additional risk factors for the disorder. Also answering questions about the etiology and pathophysiology of the disorder, and also looking up common treatments. And they do all this on their iOS handheld devices. And sure enough, the benefit turns out to be that we were able to add this clinical aspect to their laboratory. And as well, uh, they're seeing uh, the utility of the iOS devices as they become future pharmacists. Uh, it seems today's pharmacists are more so using resources they have on them, like cell phones and smartphones and handheld devices, rather than relying on desktop computers and laptops. And the students are becoming familiar with that, hopefully a bit earlier now, to make it easier when they transition to being pharmacists.